try and get through the door. There we go. Ah, you guys. I thought we'd do a um, bit of a video. Um, yeah, this uh, this unboxing. As you can see, it's a, a pretty huge mission we've got at the moment. Um, it has come in from a client in Australia, and um, it's a, a huge um, DAC army. Uh, that's Desert Africa Corps. It's 28 mil, so for bolt action, uh, predominantly. Uh, we've got lots of tanks, lots of infantry. It's going to take quite a while to get done. Um, so yeah, I thought it might be a bit of fun to... Uh, bit different to do a bit of an unboxing so there's uh there's three boxes at the minute uh maybe still three uh but there's uh there's more to come apparently so um yeah this is uh this is gonna this is gonna keep me busy for a while and the the client is um uh very keen on some other projects as well that he's got lined up including uh, an australian um australian uh commission for uh, themed around to brook um, and the defense of Tobruk, so that would be good fun. And I think we're looking at that, well, once, once this is done, so towards the end of the year, uh, and an SS Panzer army as well. So lots to get on with here. So, yeah, should we have a bit of an unboxing and go for it? And um, what I plan to do is um, we'll, do, um, we'll do videos. As I get a bit done, I'll do a bit of a, um, an update on it, because I think that would be a bit fun. I think the, um, the Desert War in particular is very, very popular. Uh, um, as much as anything but it'd be quite nice for people to see the project unfolding and pretty cool to do so so yeah let's get on um, so I've already sort of removed the tape on this one to have a little peek uh, there's uh, I've not had a proper look at it let's crank it open okay uh, these are just models I've just put in here that he's uh, purchased from me um, on eBay, so let's just remove those for a second. Right. Wow. Okay, cool. So, Fulcher Jaeger. Um, should be quite easy to do. It's been a long time since I painted these models. Very cool, and they can have a um, some camouflage materials mixed in. Um, that gives them a yeah, they look good. All right. Um, there seems to be lots of stowage in this box. What's that? Sand. Yeah. Stowage, tarps, rolls. So, uh, so it's mostly a mix of Warlord and Rubicon. That's an 8 rad, an armoured car. Cows. Okay, I certainly need those. All right, so what have we got here? Schwimmwagen. So that's Rubicon. Nice. Okay. And then, yeah. This is a great box set, actually. This, uh, from Warlord, the Africa Corps. The only thing I will say about it is the infantry, um, and the client and I have spoken about this, is is the, um, I, th I think I remember the MG34, um, there's only one pose for it, and it's lying down, I don't know if it shows on the box, but, uh, oh yeah, the, uh, yeah, there you go, that's the only pose, as far as I remember, for that, so we might have to do a bit of, um, have a look at some of the other sprues, like from the late war grenadiers, and see if we can do, um, some poses standing up, um, but that's doable. More stowage. Then we've got little random packs. Panzer Spa Wagen. Hey, okay. okay, yes, yeah, so it's a bit like a same chassis as the 8 rad or a 6 rad by the looks of that. Yeah, there's so many, so many German variants of vehicles, isn't there? It's just uh, it's bonkers, really. There we go. Uh, Self-propelled gun there. And uh, what's in this one? Uh, 
don't know. One hand to open things. like a stug to me. That's, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know what uh, I don't know what brown these are. Um, yeah, looks uh, near enough in one piece. Looks very good actually. Very nice. All right. Uh, brilliant. All right, let's go on to the next box. All right, let's start opening box two. Oh, I might do this off camera. All right, got that open. That's difficult with uh, with only two hands and all. Um, so here we have uh, another Rubicon truck. There's uh, a lot of kits here, and I've never been I've never been the best uh, kit. Well, not that it's not. I'm not. I'm not good at it. Like it's, uh, but I never build many kits. So it's uh, as part of it. I tend to. Uh, yeah, it's quite minimal normally. So this is going to be this is going to keep me busy, that's for sure. Is that two of the same? Oh no! These smaller German half tracks, the two fifties. That's the. Uh, the radio variant. Funk Panzerwagen. Okay. Uh, another truck. That looks quite simple to build. That's the thing, it's not that they're, they're hard to build, but they are a bit time consuming. And uh, I think the other. Um, Thing that we're going to need to, to figure out, although it might be alright because they're not in big boxes. But I was sort of thinking it's uh, shipping back to the client because there's a lot of stuff here. And uh, how many boxes are we going to need to uh, once these models are built and painted? Uh, to get them back, but that's something we can figure out. Uh, Tiger tank, um, so yeah, this is going to be for Tunisia, really. I don't think um, there are any tigers before the Tunisian campaign, pretty sure that's where they, where they came in. Got the very famous one at Bovington. They are lovely kits as well, Rubicon as well. Go very well with the bolt action um, scale. There's another tiger. Well, I mean, yeah, two tigers now. Oh, I'm looking forward to painting them. All right. Box three. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to. Okay. All right. Box three then. And bear in mind there is uh, there's more to come. So not all done yet. Like another truck. Okay. Probably end up having a truck building day. I think that's going to be the most. Uh, let's get them all done. It will look very cool when it's all together. Uh, yeah, half track. Uh, I was going to say we need uh, an 88 here, and uh, we've got one, and a tractor for it as well. Rubicon do a lot of kits, don't they? Um, Panzer II, looks like. Yeah, there it is. I like me a Panzer II. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's the bulk of that then. So I think. Oh, I'm going to go back. So I've got to. What I've got to do, and I know I haven't done yet, is to create a bit of a um a schedule because I've not. It's I have done um a couple of projects that are this sort of size, but it's been a little while. And what I did before is to ma to help me manage it, is to create a bit of a schedule, you know, for, particularly for construction. So, um, I can't get to shut that. So that's what I need to work out a bit of a plan. But what I, I thought I'd also do is, um, like I said earlier, is to create um, some content for it, because I know it's, a, it's um, I know it's fun to sort of see unboxings and it might be kind of cool to see the project unfold together as it is um, could be an ongoing thing and we can also do it as part of some tutorials and, um, and other bits as well but uh, yeah that's that's uh, that's it really for today um, so yeah I'll, I'll keep you posted as uh, I've got a couple of other little things to do but from July onwards I plan to get properly stuck into this so uh, yeah all right cool speak to you at the next one Goodbye.